the first step to painting our heart is to create a red heart just using just the pure red hue. Do not mix it with any white or black. We're not creating any tints or shades. We're just painting it red, just the pure red hue. So just load up your brush with plenty of red paint. If the paint starts getting too thin, just get more paint on your brush. So I've completely painted the heart red. Now I'm ready to make my first tint. And you remember when you make a tint, you add a little bit of white to any color. Our color today is red, and you have white in a little cup. So first thing we want to do is scoop up some of this red, move it over to a clean area or area where it's dry. And then I'm going to get a little scoop of white and mix it together on my tray. Try not to make a big muddy mess. And I labeled my corners either T or S. T for tint, S for shade. So when you add a little bit of white to red, you get a tint and it makes the color pink. Make sure you're painting all the way to the edges and you have a poster behind you so you're not painting onto the table. Okay, so I have completely colored in my tint. Now I'd like to make a, an even lighter tint. So instead of adding any more red at all, I'm just going to take whatever leftover pink I have. Unless you don't have any leftover pink, then you might need a little bit of red. And you're going to scoop out quite a bit of white because I want to see a big difference between my two different colors. So now I'm going to mix a new pink with my white. And I can tell that it's lighter already. Now I have this area all the way covered. And I am going to try to get as much of this paint off my brush as I possibly can. You might need a napkin, but you might just be able to paint along uh, this little uh, poster board to try to get it all off. You might need a napkin. because now I'm ready to make my shades. And you remember, you make a shade by adding black, so I'm going to use the, another area of my tray that's clean. And I'm going to scoop up my red, make a little area. And you just need a tiny little bit. Your very first shade, just make a tiny little bit. You just touch the brush in there. That's plenty. A little bit goes a long way. 
and let's see. You can tell that it already has made a really pretty maroon. If you got way too much black this time, go ahead, continue what you're doing. Maybe add a little more red, but your next color that you do over here, you could do lighter. Now mine is just right. It's just a really pretty maroon. And I'm going to add more black to my next color. Okay, so I'm going to need more red and more black this time. So last time we just did a tiny little, a little uh, touch of the black. This time, get just a little bit more. And you can mix over the area you already did. You can tell that it's darker this time. Try not to mix it with the pink because that's going to create a whole other color. Okay, so now you can see that we have created our monochromatic heart that's red in the center, just the pure red color, and with two tints on each side, one tint darker and one tint lighter, and two shades with one shade darker and one shade lighter. When you're done, you need to put your paintbrush in the paint sink to be washed. Then you need to make sure if your neighbor is also done with the paint, that the paint tray gets put where it belongs and we're going to put our paper where it belongs whether it's on the drying rack or if we're leaving it on the table but it's probably going to be on the drying rack. Be very careful that you don't run into somebody while you're holding it. <laughs>